Medical Dialogues. I am Dr. Nandita Mohan and today we will discuss the Darwincy study which analyzed the efficacy, safety and practice of pattern of Vildagliptin 100mg and Dapagliflozin 10mg in cardiology practice. Davinci study real world data shows efficacy of vildagliptin dapagliflozin FDC among high CV risk D2D in Indian cardiology settings. This study conducted by eminent cardiologists Dr. JC Mohan, Dr. Mahesh Kesha and Smith Srivastava was published in the May 2025 issue of the European Society of Medicine's Medical Research Archives. It is a first of its kind Indian study done on the role of vildagliptin dapagliflozin FDC on CV risk T2D patients in Indian cardiology settings and the second study after reform that has been supported by USV in the domain of this FDC. This retrospective non-randomized multi-center study was conducted across 200 cardiology centers in India. It included 2199 patients with type 2 diabetes of whom a substantial proportion had cardiovascular risks, 74.81% had hypertension 38.52% had dyslipidemia and 14.6% had CAD. The mean age was 55.04 years. All patients received vildagliptin 100mg SR and dapagliflozin 10mg FTC and patients were also on other concomitant medication for their comorbidities. Some of the key highlights of the study are significant glycemic improvement Following early initiation, HbA1c levels significantly declined from 7.7% to 5.8%, a 1.9% reduction bringing values close to normal glycemia within just 3 months. Better fasting and postprandial glucose. Fasting plasma glucose dropped from 142.4 mg per dl to 90.2 mg per dl, reduction of 52.2 mg per dl while postprandial glucose declined from 205.6 mg per dl to 123.3 mg per dl, reduction of 82.3 mg per dl. There was a notable reduction in blood pressure with systolic BP a reduction of 10 mm hg and diastolic BP a reduction of 5 mm hg. 78% of patients successfully achieved their glycemic targets. Most physicians in the study found the Wilda and dapagliflozin combination to be effective and well tolerated. 82% experts considered it a strong treatment option for T2DM due to its complementary mechanisms of action of DPP4 inhibitors and SGLT2 inhibitors. This study brings out a clinical message that early inclusion of vildagliptin and dapagliflozin based combination therapy may help to achieve not only durable glycemic control but also improve intermediate CV risk markers in high CV risk T2D patient population. That's all for today. Stay tuned to Medical Dialogues for latest updates. Never miss a medical update from Medical Dialogues. Like, subscribe and press the bell icon.